Johannesburg, South Africa has some of the best nightlife in the world. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the best places to party if you're in the city. So the main five areas to party are Rosebank, Santon, Bramfontein, Maboneg, and Midrain. They all have different vibes, so make sure you watch the entire video so you'll have an idea on where you want to party in Johannesburg. We're going to kick things off in the area of Rosebank. One of the most popular clubs in this area is Club Sumo, which usually has an entrance fee of around $10. Here, you're gonna find a good mix of Afro beats, rap, on piano, and R&B. As a matter of fact, the best night to go to Sumo is Tuesday night, which is R&B night and also ladies night. Now fellas, if you're looking to party with the ladies, there's about a 70 to 30 ratio on R&B Tuesdays. Fridays and Saturdays are the other big nights at this club. And although there's a good mix of music on these nights, they tend to play a majority of American rap, especially if you get there before 1 a.m. Mixed drinks are going to run you about $8 and beers about $4. The same goes for the other club we're going to highlight that's actually located right under Club Sumo and that's Club Montana. Here they have a similar vibe as Club Sumo. Their main nights are Fridays and Saturdays. This particular night at Club Sumo they had a Barbie themed party. The few times I've been here, the place was rocking, but after 1 a.m. it gets super thick. At Club Montana, you're going to find a mix of Afro beats, rap, and amp piano. Also, mixed drinks are going to run you about $10 and beers about $5. Alright, moving on, the next area of the city we're going to check out is Santa. This is the more posh area of Joburg. My favorite spot here is the Bar Saint, particularly on Sunday nights. Here you're going to find crowds of people between the ages of 21 and 50, so make sure you dress to impress. Also there is no entry fee to party at Saint. On Sunday nights you might find a live band playing some of the more popular and piano hits, or a DJ playing the latest Afro beats and old school R&B. Now Friday and Saturday nights aren't as good as Sundays, but if you do come on those days, the DJ is still going to have you groove. Drinks here are a little more pricey, about $12 for mixed drinks and about $6 for beers. On the other side of the bar, they also have one of the best restaurants in the city, but we'll save that for another video. Alright, next up in Santon is the Club Monarch. And this is one of the more popular nightclubs in Santon. Here, you're gonna find a good mix of rap, Afro beats, and amp piano. Fellas, you can expect to pay an entry fee of about $15 here. The most popular nights of the week for Monarch are Fridays and Saturdays. Now at this club, they want you to buy bottles, not single drinks. So unless you're getting your drinks directly from the bar, good luck with that. But with all that said, Monarch is a very nice club and always has a solid DJ on the ones and twos. Now there are a few other clubs in the area like Live and The Greenhouse. But in my opinion, they just weren't as good as Saint and Monarch. But hey, you might like them, so check them out if you're in the area. Now before I continue, you must know that a good night out can definitely be determined by the company you're with. So keep an open mind and good company no matter where you decide to visit. Alright, so let's make our way closer to downtown to an area called Bromfontein, or Brom for short. Now this area is more for the college age crowd because of its proximity to the universities. But because nightclubs are there, you're going to find people of all ages. And on top of that, there is no entry fees at any of the spots. So the best place to party in Brom is probably the Bannister which is a bar located on the ground level of a small boutique hotel. The drinks in all the places across Brom are very cheap, around $8 for mixed drinks and $3 for beers. When I say cheap, I'm comparing things to US prices. In the Bannister, people are more friendly and more engaging, 
because of the bar slash restaurant setup of the place and because the music isn't too loud. Now if you're looking for more of a club vibe in Brom, you also have club drama. This place gets way too packed for me. However, if you like good music and crowds, you'll love club drama. The last spot we'll highlight in Brom is the bar Homegrown. In my opinion, this is a good starter spot to have a few drinks before you head out and explore the rest of the city. Every time I've been here, the music has been good, the people have been extremely friendly, and sometimes they even have live performances. Alright, so far, we've looked at the nightlife in Rosebank, Santon, and Brom. Now, let's make our way over to Maboneg. The first place I ever visited in this area was the bar Love Revo. This place also gets super crowded, so if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right spot. People here aren't really dancing like that, they're just hanging out and feeling the music. Love Revo has cheap drinks, the DJ is on point, and on top of that, they have two levels of entertainment with two different vibes. Moving on to the next place, you have JoJo's Rooftop Lounge. This is another place you can start early because they have really good food. But once it starts to get late, the party really starts. I like this spot because it's a very large area. Since it's on the rooftop, it doesn't get too hot. And they have a big stage, so it's a good chance you might catch a South African artist performing. The last place we'll check out in Maboneg is Cosmopolitan. Every time I've been here, the DJ has been on fire. They have areas to dance or just chill. This is an all around good place to party. One of my favorite places in Maboneg. All right, the last area of the city that we're gonna check out is Midran. I've only been to this area once, so I don't know all the spots around here. But the two clubs that I visited were Kofi and Cubana. Kofi is just about like every other club I visited in the city. They serve nice food in the late evenings, then the party really starts after 11. Now it can get really crowded in here, but everyone is cool and I met some good people. Literally right across from Kofi is the club Cubana. To be honest, I didn't spend much time here as Kofi and Cubana closed pretty early compared to most places around the city. But as you can see, people were popping bottles and like most places in Joburg, the DJ was on point. Now of course, I couldn't highlight all the clubs and bars in Johannesburg as this is a huge city. But hopefully, this gives you a good starting point of places and areas you can visit while in Joburg. Now I've only been to this city about four times, so if you have more insight or suggestions on where people should go, make sure you leave them down in the comments section for others in the community. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.